At 2.51 a.m. on July 15, a GSLV MK3 rocket was supposed to lift off with ISRO's Chandrayaan-2 mission, but the launch was called off shortly before liftoff. What happened? We don't know yet and it's going to be some time before we know exactly what happened. Officials called the launch off 56 minutes and 24 seconds before the designated time. This was shortly after they had finished loading the propellants for the rocket's cryogenic engine. This is why many speculate that there might have been a problem with the fuel system. ISRO has said that it will have to unload the fuel from the rocket before it can take a closer look. This is a time-consuming task and is expected to take at least 10 days to finish. The liquefied hydrogen used for the cryogenic engine has very low density and reacts explosively with oxygen. The unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine used as fuel on the second stage is a known carcinogen. The rocket underwent a full launch rehearsal on July 8 and the countdown commenced at 6.51 am on Sunday, July 14. Experts say it is always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to space flight. If the MK3 launch hadn't been called off, the rocket could have exploded on the launch pad or failed to deploy the satellite in the correct orbit. Millions of dollars worth of efforts and resources would have been lost. But through extensive checks and allowing itself to postpone the launch, ISRO has given itself the chance to get it right. The current launch window to the moon closes on July 16, so Chandrayaan-2 will have to be delayed. The next available launch window is in August and then in September. Until then, ISRO engineers and officials will be in full swing trying to fix the issue. To receive instant updates on all videos from The Wire, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Pay to support independent journalism. Click the link in the description and choose the amount you want to pay.